Hey folks, this is Sasha. First of all, I want to apologize for all the background noise you're going to hear. Uh, I got the windows open because it's nice outside and there's kids playing like way the fuck away from me. But my microphone picks up every little thing and I don't have the ability just yet to create the soundproof boothing yet. The other alternative, of course, I have to this is to do this, these recordings at 2 in the morning when there's nothing going on but the creaking of my floor when I'm walking around the apartment. And I may consider doing that. Anyway, the reason I started to do this, and I've got this audio running here, is because I wanted to talk to you, my Patreon people, first of all. Primarily because I haven't done an update in a little over a month and a half, and I apologize for that. But the big thing about it has been that uh, I got caught up in doing option trading stuff. A couple of you have known about this and listened to me talk about stuff online with regard to trading options in the stock market because it's something that I got hooked onto and I've actually always wanted to do but didn't have the full understanding. That being said, I'm basically throwing all of my attention into education, both paid stuff from some stuff that we did earlier with Phil Town and you know free stuff like the option alpha courses or if I leave the house I've probably got my headphones on listening to tasty trade learning about different things in that particular industry I still have a passion for it and I have always had one and now that I can do it and now that I know what I'm doing I feel very good about it today for example I actually shut down a few trades and got to bank some profits not a lot of money, mind you, and the risk that's out there was too much more, too much risk for what I brought in. But I was able to take twelve hundred dollars off the table and keep about two hundred dollars. The pisser of this is it's not real money; it's all paper. The Thinkorswim platform allows you to trade paper money to play with strategies and practice and learn how to do option trading, and so. As I go through the option alpha stuff, or I go through tasty trade stuff, and I see an idea, and I want to explore it further, I'll pull up a copy of Thinkorswim on my laptop, one of my laptops, or Toss will be pulled up on my iPhone or my iPad, and uh, I'll start looking at different stocks to see what's there. Unfortunately, what this means is that during the afternoons, I'm pretty much glued to the market, not because I have to be, because you really don't, but because I want to be. So up until about 4.45 or so, market closes at 4 every day, local time, but because I am paper trading, the resources on a broker platform system delay quotes for 20 minutes. So I don't know when the stock settles officially for about half an hour, and then, um, you know, there's that. And then when I'm done with that, if I don't have cigar stuff to do, I will oftentimes go back to educational videos on Option Alpha. I will go to podcasts on Option Alpha or Tasty Trade. Lately, I began to read more. I read more romance, but I'm trying to make sure my ratio of corporate news to romance novels is skewed in the right direction because you don't need to be glued to the corporate news cycle for earnings and things like that to make money. But I'm kind of playing catch up for one. And number two, honestly, a lot of what's been touted as great novels is utterly shit. I won't name names, I won't dox anybody, but a lot of the romance novels I've read over the last several months in particular have just been like, they're a definite three star. I don't want to read three star romance novels anymore. So this brings me to what I actually had gotten on this to talk to you guys about, and that's the fact that I have been considering quitting writing. Luckily, I have the brains to call friends of mine and talk to them and say, hey, here's what's going on in my head. Here's the things that are upsetting me about the publishing industry, and it's all the standard stuff if you're an author or you know about Amazon that's upsetting. Here's the things that I'm thinking about with my career but I don't want to put the effort out anymore and have a shit return. I'm, I've been doing this for 18 years, and I, it's, not, it's not right. At the same time, I still have story ideas that are um, percolating in my head. 
I still, as a matter of fact, I was reminded of a third story idea, full-length novel. It'll be a romance, as all my work will be, but the stories that I'm playing with in my head are so far out of my normal comfort zone. They're so different, so... Uh, different's the best word I can come up with right now. They're so out of my normal range of, of what I've written in the past that I'm excited about writing them, but when I sit down to actually put the work in, I'll pull up Scrivener and stare at the page for 20 minutes trying to name a character. I will try to go through a grand scheme plot and come up with nothing. Maybe a little small thing, I'll have a small idea, and I'll write that down. And that's it. And then I'll, I'll inevitably pull up Toss and start looking at trades or adjusting trades, or something like that. Um, and it dawned on me the work's not getting done. The writing's not getting done. And I, I finally, last week, made myself finish the last chapter of what's being called Stalker. Y'all are getting the original, and I mean the original version, whenever I remember to post and schedule those on, on the, the Patreon thing. But... Uh, I rewrote the novel from the ground up two years ago, and it's much, much, much different, much better, much more in line with the sign of the times. But I needed to get that last chapter blown out because that's what the beta reader told me. She said, you you chumped the ending. I said, yeah, I, I did. It's getting to that point. She said, don't do that. I said, all right. She told me two weeks ago, just finish that, uh, finish that last chapter. I'll take a crack at it, and then if you got any more beta readers... Send it off to them. Afterwards, shoot that to your agent. I said, all right. Well, agent's another thing, too. I don't know what's going on with that front right now. And again, part of the problem is I don't care. So, like I said, calling my friends. and They're like, you know what? Take a break. I said, okay. Four-month hiatus. Now, you guys don't know this. Most of you don't know this about me. But when I actually take a break, it's not a real official thing. It's just generally that I tell the public, leave me the fuck alone because I don't have time. To be, I'm on vacation. I'm on hiatus. I'm whatever I'm doing. I'm not dealing with you guys. Reality of it is, is that uh, I'm probably working on something in the background. I thought about this a couple of years ago and realized that when I took my drinking hiatus back in 2011 or something like that, I literally was going to drink the entire month of December. Wake up, start drinking, go to bed. And drink until my ex got home and we drank with dinner. That lasted about two weeks. Then I got bored and went back to work. So I thought to myself, what if I took a four-month hiatus... I have some money coming in, I don't know when. It's owed to me by my main client, and that will, depending on what I get paid, will depend that we'll, we'll go into trading and also go into my trip to Spain. And I'll cover that here in a bit too. But uh, I really thought, speaking of that trip to Spain, that things would be different. I thought that I'd take my laptop, my iPad, keyboards, and sit in the flat in the afternoons with a good view of I don't know what yet but uh, be able to write and you know do some social media stuff and you know get out a little bit as well as you know trade because I can trade US markets in Spain and now that I'm thinking about being on hiatus for, actually, I am on hiatus. I'm not going to write a single, not on purpose anyway. The goal is to not do shit as a writer uh, with new material until July 31st. The day I left Texas and moved back to California, or moved to California, I'm sorry. So August 1st, I will start again, officially. As to the unofficial bit, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Um, you guys being my Patreon group will get to see these things come out, and I'll keep all of you in the loop, because it's what I'm being paid to do. And, um, I guess that's it. 
but I wanted you guys to know what was up. I have other things I want to put out. Oh yeah, by the way, that reminds me. So one of the things that's going to become a perk for you guys now is uh, I'm going to start doing podcasts again. I think we're going to do, I'm going to try six podcasts out, get them put together, see how I feel about them, see if I can't get some kind of traction on them. I don't know about that part, but just see what happens. Be like a half hour, maybe not quite full half hour, but 23 minute show. Uh, we're going to basically resurrect the unnamed romance show, but I'm not going to really worry about guest content right now. I don't, honestly, I don't care. Uh, I know it sounds bad, but fuck other authors, you know, as far as this is, this is concerned. It was suggested that I don't waste my time with them right now, and the podcast, I focus more on some things you guys might want to know more about, um, a little more real reality, so that's, that's going to be something I'm going to play with for a while here, but I wanted to get this update out to you guys, considering tomorrow's May 1st, and I haven't, like I said, dropped an update in a few weeks, and I haven't even been on, I've done one YouTube video, maybe... No, I never released that video. I'm sorry. I did a couple of Facebook Live videos over the last couple of weeks, but those were really minor, and if you didn't catch them between 4 and 5 in the afternoon, you didn't catch them because I scheduled them wrong. But, uh, you know, we'll see. There'll be things going on. Uh, I'm just not putting out new material right now or even focusing on new material right now. I'm, I'm letting, I don't know. I'm letting the brain take a rest after 18 years, and we're doing the thing. Um, not sure what that is yet. Besides, I realize the other question about it is, you know, uh, whether I'm in Spain or I'm here, and if I quit writing, I can only trade right now until 4 p.m., until I learn how to trade futures and forex. And I don't know how to do that thing, those things yet, and I don't really want to focus on those things just yet, because I don't. I want to really get a, a good grasp of options trading first before I start digging into different types of financial products to make money with. But what would I do in Spain after that time? You know, what would I do after trading day was over here? Because even that, starting out front, I'm not going to be able to make trades every single day. I'm only going to have a certain amount of income from that that we're going to use to basically pad the account with after I, or as I make successful trades. So between midnight and 3 o'clock in the morning, is that when I watch TV? I'm not really even big on TV. You know that. I am watching Death Note. I am getting caught up on Gotham because apparently I missed out. Uh... Tonight being Monday when I recorded this, if there's an episode of Lucifer, I'm really stoked about seeing that. I have no desire to see any of the Marvel or DC movies whatsoever right now. And uh, any of you who've asked me about that, you already know why. I will wait ten years to see that shit. Uh, anyway, this has gone on long enough. Thank you for listening. Thank you for your patronage. And make sure that this is, because uh, this is going to go on YouTube, I'm going to slap it up there with uh, Filmora and put some photos up here, I guess. Uh, trying to better build my brand. So always uh, thank you below. Links and links below. I answer the comments. Like and subscribe. Share. Tweet this shit. Facebook this shit. Whatever you got to do, blast it out there. And thank you, thank you, thank you as always. Until next time, Chatelet.